Harvey, lovely to talk to you. First things first, uh, it's Darren from Access Real. Um, I really enjoyed the film. Your character was adorable. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Bruno is he's lovable, glass half fill, overly positive character to voice, which works well against Puss and Kitty's cynicism, basically. Was it a challenge for you to keep up that character during takes, or did you just bring your own joy? I, I think it was uh, finding him, you know, I was thinking about doing voiceover. It's really, uh, it just, it, your whole body's engaged, you know, especially with Perrito because he's so positive and also his voice is about an octave higher than mine is naturally. <laughs> so it was really up there and it was just engaged in energy. And my, I remember like watching video of me doing the voice. It's just like my whole body is completely like doing <laughs> it. And, and I would go home and sleep like a baby because I felt really good about it. And I felt that his energy was so positive that it put me in a good mood and it makes you sleep really well at night and you have no worries because you did uh nothing but goodness that day like you're just being good you did a good scene you, you said it with heart and so uh it puts you in a good mood it put me in a good mood every time uh you know and hopefully we get to see perrito again in other adventures <laughs> it was funny because when i was watching because i only watched the film a few days ago and when i was watching it, i already knew i was going to be interviewing you and i'm watching the movie and i'm watching the movie and i'm like because I know your voice because I watch Shadows. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I was like, where is he? Who is he? Who, who is he? <laughs> and then it, it took me a, like literally to the end credits. I was like, oh, there we go. Well, that's like great. Pulling. That's good. I take that as a compliment because I pride myself <laughs> in doing different characters that are different from each other. Because, you know, in this business, it's so easy to be put into a box and it's like, you only yeah. do this. And as much as I love all the characters that I've, you know, gotten a chance to play, people will always remember you from something they love. Like some people will be like, I love you from Shadows. You'll always be Guillermo to me. Some people are like, oh, I love you from, <laughs> you know, Harley Quinn or you love you from this. And and so now for someone to say, I didn't recognize that was you as Perrito. I was like, yes. <laughs> that is my job. That's my job as an actor to create a completely different character with, you know, soul and, you know, and, and wants and desires and all that. And so for me to hear that, then, yeah. uh, then job done. <laughs> oh, for sure. And, and I was, another one of your roles, I started re-watching Reacher. Reacher, and that's right. I watched Reacher when it first came out and then I was, I started re-watching it the other night and I was like, I totally forgot you're in it. And then as soon as you popped up, I'm like, yes, this show just got even better. You didn't um, recognize because I had a Southern <laughs> accent in Reacher and I was from Georgia. So you didn't Georgia. recognize me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so obviously, obviously, Puss in Boots, the last switch. Uh, congratulations, Golden Globe nomination as well. Um, Thank you. For the film. Um, so did you have you met did Selma and Antonio or, or like, or have you still not met them? I because still of the way animation that. goes. I still, the way the animation works, we shot this movie because we did it safely at a time when the world yeah. was, you know, in chaos that we did it safely. And, and also it wouldn't have worked out because we're in different time zones. I was in the middle of shooting Shadows and, and Reacher, actually. I was shooting Shadows and Reacher while this was happening oh, yeah. uh, in Toronto, Canada. And then we had Antonio in Spain and Salma and others in London, around the world. So the time is just time zones weren't going to work out. But... I'm happy to report that I will meet them soon at the premiere. Right. So it's happen. <laughs> That's always good. Now, um, I, I love your work on screen. As I said, I've shadows, Reacher, et cetera, et cetera. Um, is there any kind of role that you want to play that you're like, I, I need to play that kind of character? Well, I always like to like push myself as an actor and try to do roles that are different from the last thing I did or a variation of something that I want to play. So something that it's out of left field would be good that people don't expect. I mean, so far so good with some of the voiceover, like you said, that people do not expect that this is my voice in this project. And the idea that I want to do that with live action, maybe a rom-com or a superhero film, you know, stuff like that, where I want to like push my boundaries and expectations of what you think I am as an actor, which is always nice. And for myself, <laughs> it's a challenge. Definitely. So, so when you're getting into the, the vibe of Pareto, um, just before you're about to jump into some dialogue, to get into that sort of mindset, do you have like a, a little thing you do or like, did you try a whole bunch of voices with the director and say, this is the one I'm going with? How did your process work to get into it? We did try different voices, but for the energy, when I auditioned for the role, um, I was just trying to think of 
a, a dog that I think would embody this energy. And that was my sister's dog. Uh, one of her dogs is Picasso and he's just full of energy. So I kind of went off of that. And then the idea of what would this dog sound like if I had a conversation <laughs> with him right now? And that's the voice that I came up with. And I presented that voice to the director and they loved it. And we kind of tweaked it and worked with it and that, you know, with the script and whatnot. So it worked out for the best. It was, it was great. It was great research for playing a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well, Harvey, thanks very much. I, I appreciate the chat and um, good luck with the film. Can't wait for Shadows 5. And um, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thanks, Harvey.